Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some lovely Ritter Sport chocolate from our kind viewer Richard, RTHOC71. He, as If you've been watching our channel, you've seen Richard has sent us many, many boxes filled with chocolates and biscuits and all kinds of good treats. And of course, a lot of things that he has sent us are from UK, UK products, I should say. These are Ritter Sport, or I've heard it pronounced what, Ritter Sport. They are from Germany. And we do get Ritter Sport here in the US, but I feel like our flavors are limited. In fact, Richard sent us a list of all the flavors that they have, and I think there were something like 49 of them. And if you want to stay tuned to the end of the video, I will leave a list so you can look over that list of all the Ritter Sport flavors. And so we have six we're going to try today. I think we found all of them from the boxes. We did see that one, although they look different, I think they're the same flavor. It says salted caramel. Let's see those. Very different packaging. This one says new, so maybe that was when it first came out. So we're going to go ahead and try this one. We'll, we'll put that on the side and save that. Okay. So we've got... Corn flakes, orange, crispy coffee, salted caramel, rum raisins, hazelnut, and caramelized almonds. All sound great. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start with corn flakes. Sounds like maybe it would be the mildest. And it's just such an unusual thing. I've never heard of having corn flakes no. in chocolate. We have seen chocolate where it has potato chips in it. Yeah, I thought you were going to say rice krispies. Crispy rice. So that's like true. Yeah, crispy stuff. rice. That, those those bars have been around for a long time, so I guess that's not too far off. But. Yeah, but you're right. We we have seen chocolate bars that have um, potato chips in them. So you want me to go ahead and? And I think on the back it says milk chocolate with corn flakes. Basic. Yeah. It looks like these we can just break open here. So it feels like it. Ah. Here we go. Okay. I didn't embarrass myself with. <laughs> I saved you from embarrassment, didn't did. I? All right. There's just a chunk off of there. Ooh. Try not to make a mess here, but You're I'm already mess. making a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do it Thank over you. the plate. There okay. you go. Little, little pieces of chocolate shrapnel already on the table. I know. <laughs> I was trying to be careful, but yeah, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. <laughs> They're being so dainty. I feel guilty just putting the whole thing in my mouth. Hmm. I should have done that because it took a little bit of strength of my teeth to bite into that one. That was good. Mm -hmm. I never had anything chocolate coated chocolate covered uh, cornflakes in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good combination. Yeah, and if you're mm -hmm. liking, if you want something besides just plain chocolate, a little crunch mm -hmm. in it, that might just fit the bill right there. Now that you've had this, I know in the past you've had, was it the, um, that's the crunch bar. That's the one that has basically the Rice Krispies, mm -hmm. the crispy rice with the chocolate. Do you have a preference? Cornflakes over Good question. In fact, we when we had the German food box, I know we got a bar in there as well that had the puffed rice in it. Mm -hmm. And I think those actually had more puffed rice compared to chocolate they did, yes. um, in comparison to our um, Nestle Crunch. And what's, there's another one too. Is it Nestle Crunch? And then there's, does Hershey have one too? Crackle? What's Crackle, it? yeah. Okay. Very similar. Oh, I like that. That, that was, was good. good. I'm trying to think if I have a preference. I might prefer the rice. I don't know. I'd have to do them side by side. Okay. Well, after having the crispy rice and that, I think I'll go with the cornflakes. You like the cornflakes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. One down, five to go. What is the <laughs> next one you prefer? I just picked up orange. So this one says dark chocolate with orange flavored fondant. Okay. I'll try to, let's see if I can open it properly <laughs> this time. So, just the way you had it. And you just yep, just pop it open. It's got a little thing there. Breakaway. There you go. How about that? <laughs> no little red string to pull. In. Okay, this looks like it's already conveniently. Okay. In. Broken apart a little bit. There you go. And. Hmm. There you go. 
So this one, rather than being just orange flavored chocolate, is going to have a fondant filling, it sounds like. This smells really good. Oh yeah, smell that orange. Okay. Ready? Everyone knows we like chocolate orange. So. Yes, we do. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm-hmm. You can see the filling inside. Oh yeah. That's nice. With that filling, get a lot of the orange flavor in there. Yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Do you have a preference? Like a um, solid piece of chocolate, like a Terry's chocolate orange, or do you prefer that where it has the filling? I don't. Probably depends on my mood, because I like them both. Depends on my mood. <laughs> so, so do you have a preference between... Say a chocolate orange or this one. Okay. I feel like the orange flavor is a little different from the Terry's chocolate orange and this one. I like it. I think if I was just, you know, I just want a solid piece of chocolate, I'd go with the Terry's mm-hmm. chocolate orange, but I like the filling in this. Mm-hmm. It's good. So with that said. So next up we have caramelized almonds, not caramelized onion like I keep wanting to say. Although that sounds like a fantastic <laughs> variety, chocolate covered caramelized Ooh. onion. They have the chocolate covered bacon, so. Why not? We just give you a fantastic idea. Why don't you just roll with that? <laughs> so, this is milk chocolate with chopped caramelized sugar glazed almonds. Hmm. Can I open it for you? Sure. Now that I, I've learned the from the master how to properly. I don't know. Do you say caramelized or caramelized? Because I feel like when we say caramel, we just say caramel. But we've heard other people in other regions of the U.S. pronounce it caramel. For a moment, I thought I said caramelized. Um, I, I think I say caramelized. I think when I say caramel, I, it's caramelized when I say caramelized, but when it's just caramel, I say caramel. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just thinking even within the U.S. I know caramel is one of those I've, I've heard pronounced different ways. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say caramelized. I don't think I ever really hear anyone ever say caramelized. Caramelized. I don't think I do either. And here we go. So it looks like a boop. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Well, that's nice. That is nice. Mm-hmm. I like almonds, almonds anyway. <laughs> yeah. Like toasted, toasted mm-hmm. almonds. It's a not sure. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Very small pieces of almonds. The thing is, some of our chocolate bars have almonds. A lot of times they'll have whole almonds in them. So you, when you bite it off, it's got a big chunk of almond in it. See, I'd rather have that more chocolate to almond ratio. Mm-hmm. And if you can have the almonds in it, yeah, the caramelized onion, that was... Yes, caramelized you're getting My bad. <laughs> Caramelized almond. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Instead of just having a big chunk of a whole almond. Mm-hmm. Not onion. And almond. somehow with the, the caramelized and the little chunks, it, it kind of has a nice texture to the almonds. It does. Kind of crunchy and mm-hmm. and uh, small pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Okay, we are halfway through. Halfway through, so let's try salted caramel. Such a popular flavor here. You see salted caramel everything, it seems like. With sea salt. Seems like uh, sea salt is the kale. Uh, <laughs> Gotta be sea salt. Yeah, sea salt and everything just about. Which actually I need to pick up some more for, for cooking. Sea salt or, ca- or kale? Sea salt. Okay. When do we ever have kale? <laughs> You picked up that kale dip that was absolutely awful the other night. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it had more than just kale in it, but yeah, I picked up a few dips that have kale in it, and some were okay. This one was this one was not good. It was this weird gelatinous mess. I think I forgot to read what this says. It says milk chocolate and salted mm. butter caramel crisps and caramel pieces. Sounds good. Yeah. Hmm. Mmm, I like that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
with the nice crunchy bits. Yeah, I like those crunchy bits. That's really good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a bit mm -hmm. of an almond roca. Yes. A little bit. That sort of that toffee. What we always think of as toffee here often is almost kind of hard and crunchy. Not so hard that you can't bite through it, but just kind of got that firm texture to it. It's very good and sweet. Yeah, it breaks easily. Mm hmm. Yeah. And um, little crunchy bits kind of remind me of how the almonds were and the caramelized almonds. Mm hmm. Didn't say onion. <laughs> yeah, but the flavor too. That, that's mm -hmm. really good. I like that. I feel like even more so. They really. I, I'm not sad. We have we have a backup here. <laughs> okay. All right. Next one, we've got crispy coffee. You are the coffee lover in this house. So this is dark chocolate over white chocolate with coffee paste and pieces of cornflakes. So this one's got cornflakes. Oh, I see the cornflake on there. Coffee beans. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting combination. Yeah. Coffee. Like it's like breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> it's like breakfast in your hand, right there. Coffee and cornflakes. Coffee and cornflakes. Got your white chocolate for the milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoever came up with that idea, kudos yeah, to you. It was clever. It was very clever. Okay, my dear. There you go. Oh, you can kind of see the layers there. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, I smell the coffee in mm. it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely strong, strong scent of coffee. Mm. Mm. No, so unusual. That's good. Mm hmm Got a nice strong coffee flavor to it though. And it said oh, white chocolate, but I'm not really tasting or seeing it in here. I don't know, unless the... Bottom layer? The bottom layer, the, the, the white chocolate has the coffee in it, maybe. I that's don't know. Fine. But in any case, it's good. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The coffee is mixed with the mm -hmm. milk chocolate. And cornflakes. Mm -hmm. Breakfast in a candy bar. <laughs> and a chocolate bar. Oh, that's good. Cornflakes just add a little crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Don't really taste them much. You're tasting a lot of coffee flavor plus that nice dark chocolate. If you could add anything to that, what would it be? Hmm. I think it's good as is. You want to add a hint of bacon? <laughs> no? I don't know. Yeah, that's I'm not story. sure how that would be. Bacon and coffee together? With cornflakes. <laughs> okay. We are down to what I, I believe. I know I'm going to love. I don't know if you're... I saved that for last for a reason because I know we've really enjoyed the rum raisin. Love the hazelnuts. Yeah. So, are you ready? What's the description on that one? The description. Milk chocolate with raisins soaked in rum mm -hmm. and chopped hazelnuts. That sounds so good. <laughs> Richard, thank you. Thank you kindly. That sounds yeah, good. because last time we had that, it was Wooden Tie that gave us the rum raisin chocolate bar, and you just opened that up and was like, oh, wow. It, you yeah. love that. <laughs> that was absolutely... It was the old Jamaica, wasn't it? Old Jamaica? Oh, it, yeah. It was just fantastic. That was wonderful. Okay, Ritter Sport, let's see what you've got. <laughs> and I think Richard sent us another bar that has gum raisin. So we, we, it will be in a future video. Thank you, Okay. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. You smell it? Oh, yeah. I can't smell it yet. <clears throat> oh, you will. <laughs> Oh yeah, I smell it now. That, that, See little raisins poking out. <laughs> That's probably why it didn't quite break evenly. Mm. I know there's supposed to be an ice cream flavor here, rum raisin. Mm. Haven't seen it. If I ever see it, I'm gonna just grab that. <laughs> mm. Very good. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we haven't tried this sooner. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the chocolate bar we received from um, 
We received from Wooden Tie. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think here. Have we seen rum raisin chocolate bars? Maybe I just haven't either noticed or looked for them. Like you said, we've seen the rum raisin ice cream. Right. Well, and does that have chocolate in it? I, I, I don't think I've ever had it, so I'm not sure. We've, we've heard of it. Yeah, ice cream. I don't think I've ever seen the rum raisin ice cream in this. It's like kind of a shame. We got a, we have a <laughs> Baskin Robbins down the street. We should go in there someday and see. Do you in fact have rum raisin? Yeah, because I feel like it's a shop like that that has a lot of flavors is where you find it. Yeah, they might sell it in the store too. We just have to look for it. Maybe Ben and Jerry's might have Maybe. A flavor like that. Yeah, it's just like when we're shopping together uh, by ourselves. Uh, you know, when I'm looking at ice cream. I don't think I've ever seen rum raisin ever. But um, as far as a like a chocolate bar here. Uh, I don't think I can't recall ever seeing a rum raisin chocolate bar here at all. Yeah, Nestle's, Hershey's, or just missing it. Here at Deli, I just if it's yeah. been here, I totally did not see it. But they're fantastic. <laughs> so now, with that said, we've tried six. Now we have to rank them. What? Well, yes. What was your? How would you rank them, young lady? What was your favorite? This is going to be hard. I might go with that rum raisin hazelnut in first place. So you, you totally surprised me. Uh, really? Yeah, because I thought you were going to say, well, I'm going to have to try more, you know, <laughs> side by side. <laughs> but yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Really good, that one. Got it upside down there. Second. Mm. Oh, I'm torn. Probably salted caramel or crispy coffee. I think those might be second or third. Then maybe caramelized almonds. I don't know. I forgot about the orange. Darn. <laughs> Darn. Where am I going to rank the orange? You could always have ties. Maybe I'll have orange. Then the almond. And then the cornflake last. I, th I think. Okay. Depending on the day, they may shift. <laughs> Depends on your mood. Depends on my mood. So how about you? I. This is a difficult task. I would say... Number one, part of my reach, young lady, would be the wonderful. You're gonna go for the rum raisin too. Rum raisin, yeah. Wooden wooden tie introduced us to that. <laughs> love it, love that flavor, do that combination. And I would say number two would be this fantastic combination of the cornflakes, coffee, and um, it's a white chocolate, dark and chocolate. And dark chocolate, yep. Just the whole combination, and it's really hard to rank the remaining four. <laughs> I'm going to say um, an even tie. There there wasn't one of these that I thought was, eh, it's all right. No, they're all good. Mm -hmm. That cornflake combination of um, the caramelized almonds. Yeah. No, absolutely zero complaints. Okay, number three. <laughs> salted caramel. <laughs> the salted caramel was fantastic, too. Yeah. Those two were, the coffee and the salted caramel were almost like a tie for me. They were both really good. Yeah, they were. So, Richard, excellent picks. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks again, Richard. This was delicious to try. Can't believe there are so many more flavors. And I don't remember the ones we saw. And we find these, a small number of them in Target. Yeah. Definitely see a few more in Cost Plus World Market. Mm -hmm. But I can't recall all the different flavors they have. We've definitely not seen 49 <laughs> different flavors no. at one time. <laughs> no. So let us know in the comment, do you like Ritter Sport chocolate? And what are some of your favorite flavors? We mm -hmm. would like to know that, especially if you've tried some that we haven't tried. In fact, off the top of my head, I don't remember what other ones we've tried. Mint. Mint, yeah. yeah it was one we right. tried mint. Yeah. Um, it does sound familiar. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm incorrect, but um, I could have sworn we had a Ritter Sport where it was like milk chocolate with wafers or wafer bits. It might have been. Yeah. I can't recall, though. We start getting them confused between Melka, Ritter Sport, and all the different ones we've tried, Cadbury. Yeah, all that chocolatey goodness. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Great after-lunch snack. Okay, time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Okay, I know what you want now. You're... <laughs> I'm reaching for caramelized onion. I... <laughs>
caramelized onion. <laughs> you. Okay. No, we're keeping that one. 